Understanding the causes and prevention methods for algae growth is essential for maintaining a vibrant aquatic environment. By addressing the factors that contribute to algae growth, aquarium enthusiasts can ensure that their plants and fish thrive. But how do they do this? Well, let's take a look. Hi, I'm Russ and I've been in the aquarium hobby now for over 40 years. And today we're gonna to look at how to prevent algae growth the best you can in your aquarium and also take a look at what can help you keep algae reduced or at least to a bare minimum. So algae forms in your aquarium when there's an imbalance of nutrients, light, oxygen and carbon dioxide. So they're the four things that you need to keep an eye on as an aquarium keeper. Nutrients, the main nutrients that cause algae growth in the water are nitrates and phosphates. These tend to enter the aquarium through overfeeding. So you just have to monitor the amount of food that you put into the aquarium. If you're putting more food in than the fish can consume, then the nutrients are there for algae to thrive. You also need to look at lighting. Algae will thrive on bright lighting. So don't really have your aquarium lights on for longer than eight hours. So that's where you need to take into consideration what time you put your lights on. There's no point having them on for eight hours during the day if you're at work or school, because then when you come home, you're not gonna get the benefit of your aquarium. So have the lights come on later on in the afternoon. So you get the benefits until, you know, when you're at home, you've got the benefits of your aquarium being lit up there. Also, oxygen. Oxygen's always a good thing to place into the aquarium. Having some air stones running will just help with circulation and keep the oxygen levels in the aquarium where you want them to be. Because algae growth will actually strip the oxygen out of the aquarium and that will endanger the life of your fish. Also, carbon dioxide's a good one. Good one in terms of when you've got carbon dioxide running in your aquarium, the plants thrive and the plants will grow faster with carbon dioxide in the water. And when they're growing faster in there, they're stripping the nutrients out of the water, which then means that the algae has no nutrients to feed on, hence algae will not grow. Good maintenance is key. If you can get as much detritus out of the aquarium as possible, then the nutrients produced as it decomposes are not gonna be present for algae to growth. You're never gonna remove all the detritus. There's gonna be parts of the aquarium that you don't see. And that decaying will just help keep the nitrogen cycle going. So it's not really anything to worry about the stuff you can't see. But the stuff you can see, get that out as best you can. If you have made it this far through the video, can I please ask you just to click the like button and subscribe to the channel for further content. Thank you. Another way of helping prevent algae growth is good flow. Good flow, good circulation can be given to you through either a power head, which is something I don't run in here. I just have my flow that's produced by the canister filter. The canister filter sends water back into the aquarium and that gives us flow. But I also keep two air stones running in here as well. It's also good to have air stones running in your aquarium. What an air stone will give you is great circulation. So as the bubbles come through the water, it circulates the detritus back off the floor of the aquarium into the water column and that can be then taken out by your filter. Air stones are a great way of circulating water in your aquarium. But there's also other things that can help you keep algae to a minimum. And that is your cleanup crew. Fish like Otto Sinkless. Otto Sinkless will munch away on algae all day. It's always said not really to have more than eight Otto Sinkless in an aquarium because they are such ferocious eaters of algae but it's always good to keep a number of them because they are quite a social fish. Another fish for 
great algae eating are the plecos. Plecos you rarely see during the day, but they come out at night and they will do a job for you keeping algae at bay. There is other fish that will eat black beard algae like mollies. Rainbow fish will munch away. They will pick away at black beard algae all day. So there is certain things out there. You can also look at snails. Snails will eat away at algae. We'll also try and eat away at some of the detritus as well. But you just have to bear in mind that if you are putting snails into an aquarium, if you've got rainbow fish in there, snails won't last long because the rainbow fish will look at them as a source of food. So just make sure when you're putting snails into an aquarium that there's no fish in there that actually do feast on snails. And a great one for, for eating algae but also one that you just have to watch is the Amano shrimp. The Amano shrimp will just pick away at algae all day long. It's a great inhabitant to any aquarium as long as the fish that are in there won't eat the shrimp. So obviously I do have rainbow fish in this aquarium and I have angel fish in another aquarium. So Amano shrimp sadly are not an option for me in those two aquariums but i do have them in the co2 tank and i have them in the shrimp tank and they just do a job for me and you can also use algae sides algae sides that are sold to us as liquid co2 and what they're going to do is just help prevent algae growth but what you have to remember is every aquarium has algae it's one of those things we're never really going to get away from at a certain level, it's acceptable, it looks okay, and it's not going to endanger the fish or the plant life. It's just one of those things we do have to come to terms with. I have a little bit of algae growing in all my aquariums. Even in the CO2 aquarium, there is a little bit of algae growth in there. And I have just recently done a video, which is a tour of all my aquariums. And if you'd like to see that, then watch this video next. And I'll see you there. Take care. Thanks for watching.